Welcome to the second part of the Rover New Dimension program. This is the opportunity for you and your sales colleagues to test your product knowledge and customer handling abilities. With the rapid introduction of all the exciting new Rover products, it's important that we also concentrate our selling efforts on the other models in our lineup, especially Maestro and Montego, since both these model ranges continue to have broad appeal and offer some significant advantages over the competition. You should already be reaping the benefits of the significant bonus payments we're awarding you for sales of Maestro and Montego in quarter two. And now, you have the opportunity to test your product knowledge on these cars and to reap further attractive rewards. The questionnaire that follows is a team competition. Each member of your sales team should already be enrolled in the New Dimension program and each one of you needs to complete the questionnaire if your sales team is to earn a reward. Soon, you'll hear 12 questions. Six questions on Maestro product knowledge and six questions on customer handling. You should write your answers on the enclosed cassette card and return it completed to your sales manager who will then send all the team's cards to the New Dimension headquarters to be marked. The top three dealer sales teams in each ASM territory will be awarded two cases of red and white quality wines. Here are your first six questions on product knowledge. Question one. What is the difference in load capacity between the Montego estate and the Sierra estate with their rear seats folded down? Mark the box of your choice. Question two. Match the following four specifications to the four corresponding models listed on your answer card. Specification A. 1.6-litre engine, electric front windows, central locking, rear wash wipe, 60-40 split rear seat, and optional power-assisted steering. Specification B, 1.6-litre engine, central locking, rear wash wipe, and 60-40 split rear seat. Specification C, 1.6-litre engine, central locking, rear wash wipe, and coach line. And lastly, specification D, 1.6-litre engine, electric front windows, central locking, variable delay programmed wash wipe, rear wash wipe, 60-40 split rear seat, rear folding centre armrest, coach line, and optional power-assisted steering. Write your selections of A, B, C and D in the appropriate boxes. Question number three. The following list of standard features apply to only one Montego derivative. Which Montego model does this specification refer to? Ventilated front disc brakes. Central locking. Electric adjustable demisting twin door mirrors power assisted steering rear folding armrest programmed ignition with electronic fuel injection integral roof rack top speed of 112 miles per hour according to manufacturers data electric slide tilt glass sunroof with interior sliding louvered screen indicate your answer by marking one box only for question 3 Question 4. How much faster is a Maestro Turbo from 0 to 60 miles per hour than the Saab 9000 Turbo? Write A, B, C or D in one box only. Question 5. Travelling at a constant 56 miles per hour, the Montego Diesel Estate will travel a distance of 825 miles on a full tank of fuel. How much further is this than a Ford Sierra diesel estate? Please mark only one box. And lastly in this section, question number six. 
A prospect has asked you for comparative prices on the following three cars. A Montego 2-litre GTI automatic, a Sierra 2-litre GLX EFI automatic, and a Peugeot 405 1.9 GR injection automatic, all three with power steering. Based on prices as at the 1st of June 1990 and to the nearest £10, how much less expensive is the Montego 2-litre GTI automatic? Choose only one cost savings box against the Sierra and one against the Peugeot. You have now completed the product knowledge section. The next six questions are a test of your customer handling skills. Please feel free to discuss the alternative answers with your colleagues. Question number seven. Having previously had a test drive in a Montego, Mr Jones rings up to ask if the demonstrator can be brought round to his house at about seven o'clock the next evening for his family to see. In the absence of the salesman who initially dealt with Mr. Jones, another salesman takes the call. Knowing that his colleague will be free that evening, what should he say? A. I know that my colleague will be available tomorrow evening, Mr. Jones, so I'll get him to bring the car around at seven o'clock sharp. Or B. I think that my colleague will be available tomorrow evening, Mr. Jones, but I'll get him to call you as soon as he returns. Or C. I'm not sure whether my colleague will be available tomorrow, Mr. Jones, but if you'd like to bring the family down to the showroom, I'd be delighted to show them the car myself. Or D. I'll have to check with my colleague first, Mr. Jones, but even if he can't make it tomorrow, I promise that someone will definitely be at your house tomorrow with the Montego at seven o'clock sharp. Choose either A, B, C or D and write your answer in the first box of the customer handling section. Question 8. A salesman is talking on the phone to Mrs. White, an elderly lady who is making an appointment for a demonstration drive in a metro. She's a little hard of hearing and the salesman is carefully going over her address and appointment details when another phone starts to ring. Unfortunately, his colleagues are out of the showroom. What should he do? A. Apologise to Mrs. White and ask her to hold on for a moment, answer the other phone and politely ask the caller to hold on for a few moments, then quickly return to Mrs. White and finish his conversation. Or B. Finish his conversation with Mrs. White and then answer the other call. Or C. Lift the receiver from the other phone and cover the mouthpiece while he quickly finishes his conversation with Mrs. White. Then speak to the new caller and apologise for the delay. Or D. Apologise to Mrs. White and ask her to wait for a few moments, answer the other phone, ask the caller for his name and phone number, and promise to ring him back immediately after finishing with Mrs. White. Select A, B, C or D and write your answer in the box for question 8. Question 9. A salesman made an appointment with Mr. James to collect his new maestro at 4 o'clock and asked him to allow half an hour for the handover. Five minutes into the handover, another customer comes into the showroom but none of his colleagues are around. What is his best course of action? A. Excuse himself from Mr. James for a moment, welcome the new customer and promise to be there shortly. Then proceed with the handover as quickly as possible, giving Mr. James the keys to the maestro and reassuring him that he only has to ring if he has any problems. Or B. Apologise to Mr. James for the interruption, give him the keys and invite him to look over the car, promising to return as soon as possible and then welcome the new customer. Or C. Excuse himself from Mr. James for a moment, welcome the new customer, 
apologise that he will be tied up for about twenty minutes, and ask him if he would like to wait, or alternatively, if he would like to fix up a test drive. Or D. Excuse himself from Mr. James for a moment, go over and welcome the new customer, apologise, and explain that he's busy. Offer the new customer a cup of coffee with a brochure to look at, and promise to get back to him as soon as possible. Choose A, B, C, or D. Question 10. There's a telephone call for a colleague who's busy showing a potential customer around a Montego. The caller, however, insists on speaking to the salesman he asked for. What should the salesman who answered the phone do? A. Ask the caller to hold for a moment and then interrupt his colleague, insisting that he speaks to the caller. Or B. Ask the caller for his name and phone number and assure him that the salesman he asked for will ring him back in a few moments. Or C. Ask the caller to hold for a moment, interrupt his colleague, and offer to continue his presentation of the Montego while he speaks to the caller. Or D. Tell the caller that the salesman he wants to speak to is not in the showroom at the moment, but, if he would like to give him the details, he will pass them on to his colleague when he returns. Write A, B, C, or D in the box. Question 11. It's Friday night, and the senior salesman is the last to leave the dealership at 7.30 p.m. After locking the showroom doors, he notices a Sierra driving slowly onto the forecourt, clearly in trouble. The driver explains that he can only engage first gear, and that he had been trying to reach the dealership, where he is a forecourt customer, before they closed. He lives ten miles away. What is the salesman's best course of action? A. Reassure the customer that the service department will give his car priority attention the next day. Or B. Take the customer into the office and let him use the telephone to ring his wife to come and pick him up. Or C. Reassure the customer that the service department will repair his Sierra as soon as possible, then call a taxi and pay for his fare home. Or D. Reassure the customer that the service department will repair his Sierra as soon as possible, and let him take a Montego demonstrator for the weekend. Choose A, B, C, or D. And finally, question number 12. Following his retirement, Mr. Harris has just bought his first new car from your dealership. He is a cautious customer who is quick to find fault and nervous about parting with such a lot of money. It took him a long time to decide on the Metro model he wanted, and even then he changed his mind three times about the colour and trim before the sale was finalised. When the salesman completed the handover and waved goodbye to Mr. Harris, he suddenly remembered that he'd forgotten to give the customer his free gift, which had been offered with every new Metro as part of a promotion. What should the salesman do? A. Send the gift in the post, together with a letter thanking him for his business. Or B. Wait until Mr. Harris comes in for his first service and give it to him then. Or C. Ring Mr. Harris and tell him that there is a present waiting for him the next time he passes, if he would like to pop in and collect it. Or D. Go to his home and personally give the gift to Mr. Harris. Choose A. B, C, or D. Make sure you have completed all the sections on the answer card, and then hand it back to your sales manager as quickly as possible, as we need to have all your cards in for marking by the 6th of July at the latest. Good luck.